this video, you will be seeing an excerpt from our AutoCAD Level 1 class. The topic we are covering is block attributes. An attribute is text within a block that can be updated independent of that block. You can double click on the attribute to edit. So in the parking lot, we have the recycle bin. And right now my recycle bin just has a letter R. But what if I want it to say paper or plastic or cans? How can I get this to say different things at different times? So what we'll do first is we will select the block and we'll use the block editor. So I'm using right click to get to block editor. Okay. Once you're in the block editor, if you have anything in the middle, just go ahead and delete what's in the middle. Instead of putting regular text, we're going to go to the annotate tab of the ribbon and we're going to use, sorry, not that tab, insert tab of the ribbon and we're going to use define attribute. So if you want to type it, it's A-T-T-D-E-F. When you define attribute, you get this window and we have to fill out these three things. The tag is just the name. So I'll call this recycle. The prompt is a question or a statement telling the person what they should be typing. So I will say choose paper slash plastic slash maybe glass. And the default is what shows up if they don't type anything. So if I don't type anything, I can maybe have the word recycle pop up, or I like using X's just as a placeholder. If you put nothing in there, that's an option, but it'll be difficult to double click when there's nothing. I, I like using X's. After that justification, I'm just gonna have the text be centered. So I'll use justify middle center. The text style, I'll go with Arial. And the text height, you could type a height here, or you can use this green button to measure a height. I'm gonna measure the height from the bottom of this space to the, to the top of the space. It gives me this number, and I'm just gonna round it to something nicer. I'll go with 11. So round it to whatever you want. And rotation zero, that would be horizontal text. There are a few options on this left, uh, right side, sorry, left side, left side. <laughs> um, you can choose to make attributes invisible. If you choose to make them invisible, you will not see them in model space, but you will see that information in the properties window. So there are some times where you want the block to just store information and that information can be an invisible attribute. Constant turns that attribute kind of into just normal text. So I wouldn't use that. Verify preset, I never use those. Lock position. If you lock the position, the text will stay wherever you put it. If you do not lock the position, you'll have a grip for the block, which was right down here. And you have a second grip for the text and you can actually move the text independent of the block. So that's an option. Uh, for this, I will lock it in the middle. Multiple lines. If you have like, I don't know, several sentences or paragraphs, you can use multiple lines. We're just gonna have one word, so we don't need that. Um, this one, yes, we're going to specify our insertion point. Any questions on this window? Click OK. It goes to your cursor. I'm going to use the geometric center snap to find the center of this rectangle. There it is. So I'll click. And so it's centered. Yes, that text is way too big, but we're going to go with it because I have some other things to tell you. So pretend it looks great. <laughs> and up in the ribbon, use the green check to close the block editor. Save your changes. And you'll notice the letter R disappeared, but nothing else popped up. 
So one of the commands that I put in the chat was ATTSYNC. That synchronizes your changes. Whenever you make a change with an attribute in block editor, you have to synchronize those changes. Um, so let's go to insert tab, block definition, synchronize, or you can type the command. Once you start the command, it'll give you an option to choose by name or by selecting. I'm going to use select. You can pick either one. I'm going to pick the green one. And it says, is it the block called recycle? Yes. There it goes. So now you should see the default popped up. Okay. Um, let's double click on one of the X's. <laughs> I'll double click here. And this window should pop up. So when you double click on a block that has an attribute, you should have this window, the attribute editor, and there are three tabs. So the first tab, you'll see the tag, the prompt, and the default value. When you select that, you can change the value down at the bottom. So for this one, I'm going to call it paper. Notice that changed right away. If not, you can hit apply. Then on the text options tab, you could change the text style, justification, backwards, upside down, text height with factor, rotation, oblique angle. So what we are gonna do is fix the height and maybe the width factor. Pick something that looks good on your screen. So those numbers look good for me. And notice these changes are not affecting the other block. Right? They are independent. Then the last tab is properties. You could change the layer. If you wanted the word paper to be on a different layer than, uh, well, that one's a frozen layer. Let me pick something else. Striping, okay. So if you wanted the text to be on a different layer than the block, there's an option to do that. Go back to... Zero, I think. No, I think it was M leaders. Um, line type can be overridden, color can be overridden, line weight. Don't worry about plot style, but a lot of things can be overridden and be different than the rest of the block. I'll hit OK. Ad Masters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925. 939-1378. Right. So take a minute, double click on this one, fix it up. Let's do glass for this one. So another option is inserting this block, right? So if I go to the insert button or insert menu here, I can insert my recycle bin. But look at that. It comes in at the original size. The default um, pops up with X's. So I'm going to hit escape. Let's say I want to fix this block so it always comes in correctly without having to change the size. I would edit that through block editor. So I can select my block, right click, and go to block editor. And there's two things I want to fix. The whole block is way too big, right? It's 12 times too big. And also this text is way too big. So let's first fix the text. In block editor, you treat it like normal text. You can select it, right click, and use properties. So in properties, you can choose a height that fits better. If the word recycle fits, all the other words should fit. I just changed the text height and width. So once you have your text fitting inside of the rectangle, let's scale the whole thing down. Um, just one thing to know, inside of block editor, your insertion point 
location is zero comma zero. So if I were to draw a line from zero comma zero, that, that point right there is my insertion point, And that is zero, zero, zero comma zero, right? So when I scale this down, I want to select that as my base point. So just watch first, I'll use SC, enter, select the whole thing, enter. My base point is this zero, zero location and I need it 12 times smaller. So I'll type one over 12. That way, the next time I insert it, it'll be the correct size. So you can try scaling it down. Once it's scaled, close it, save it. Oh gosh, these have not been synchronized um, and they have been scaled already. So ignore those for now, but you should be able to insert the one we fixed. And it looks beautiful. And we can call this one plastic. So that one's great. You can try synchronizing the others. But they are scaled. So in properties, I can change the scale back to one. At the bottom of properties, it will tell you all the attributes. So if you had invisible attributes, they would be listed right here. So recycle is plastic. You can also change this. So maybe we want cans. So you can change it in properties as well. Right. Um, Batman block attribute manager. I'll show you that one so you can type it in or you can use this manage attributes button. That allows me to see all the blocks that have attributes. I can pick the one I want to work on and then it shows me all the attributes that are in that block and I can click edit. And what this does is it takes you a little bit deeper into the settings you can change the tag, the prompt, and the default. You can change some of these settings where if you wanna make it invisible or not, um, you have those settings. The other tabs are similar to just the double click window, but this tab gives you those options. Once you make a change, you also have synchronized. So you could select all the attributes here and synchronize them all at once. So I'll just cancel that. That's block attribute manager. And then global attribute edit. I like this one a lot. I'm copy pasting it one more time for you. Global attribute edit will allow you to edit multiple blocks at once. So let's say I don't want it to say paper, glass, and cans. I want them all to say recycle. Let's try this together. So in the command line, type G-A-T-T-E. Enter. It says to select the block or attribute. I'm going to click on paper. Then you get to put in your new text in the command line. So in the command line, I'm going to type recycle. When I hit enter, it will say there's three of them in the drawing. Do you want to fix all three? Yes. And so it fixes all three. Admasters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378.